everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. We are now in our fourth out of five guides on our Back to School Swing series, where we talk about the fundamental tenets of West Coast Swing. We talk about timing, technique, teamwork, and today we're going to get it into variety, contrast, and show personship to show you how you can practice embedding these fundamentals into your West Coast Swing. So as always, we're gonna talk about a drill where we talk about variety, contrast, and show personship, and then we're gonna break down a move. But first, what is variety, contrast, and show personship? Well, variety is kind of what it sounds like, doing things a little bit differently, adding variations or different ways of approaching a movement or a dance uh, in your West Coast Swing. Contrast is an element that is binary, more of a zero and a one, a black or a white. So it could be slow, it could be fast, it could be up or it could be down. But we're looking at ways to accentuate a moment into a next moment and create difference. And then finally, show personship is about the razzle-dazzle. It's about kind of sparkling in your dance and elevating it. You know, if you think about the music we listen to, we might have different tastes and styles, but we all like music that has some sort of contrast, variety, and a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of something fun. So let's go into that now with a drill to practice adding variety, contrast, and show personship into your West Coast Swing. Yeah, so I like to call this drill the choose anything drill, because you can really choose anything. It could be variety, it could be contrast, it could be showmanship or show personship. Um, but the goal is to integrate that element into every pattern. So let's say you wanted to do something like a hook step for variety, and you do your right side max, you have to find somewhere to integrate that hook step. Same thing on this push break. You have to find a place to put in the hook step. Now, moving on to our contrast, let's say you wanted to do level changes. So now you need to find a place to put a level change or two somewhere in the pattern. So again, going through that right side pass, we might go up and then down and then back to normal. Doing a push break, we might go down and then up and then back to normal. And you can just try one, up or down, back to baseline two. The more you do both in one, the more contrast you will see, but it's up to you to embed this in a way that feels comfortable and right for you, depending on the partner, the dance, and how you're feeling that day. And finally, our show personship, you might do something that faces out towards the audience. You might act out the lyrics of the song. You might have like a funny face. You can do whatever you want, really. Um, let's just do it facing the audience to keep it simple. So let's say we're going through our left side pass. We might angle that to face the audience. Same thing on a push break here. We might rotate it around to face the audience. So let's get into a movement that exemplifies how we can build all three of these, contrast, variety, and show personship, into our West Coast Swing, and into a basic. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. So, first, we're going to show you this move without variety, contrast, or show person. But with timing, technique, and teamwork. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And yes, two. that's right. Two. It's a basic push break talk. Yep, there's nothing super fancy about it. Probably learned it in your, your second, third, or fourth version or iteration of your beginner class. After you learn the push break, probably found out about the push break talk. So, where do we add variety in this pattern? There's two places we add variety. If the not first one. is in the repeating action of the talk. That is in and of itself a variety or a variation. The second is on our anchors. We don't finish in a standard anchor position. We finish in a slightly different anchor variation. So if we go through this tuck, here's our first variation. Then Desiree finishes twisted up and I finish open up to the audience. These are also variations on our traditional anchor. You could also say that the timing of this is a variation as well as it adds contrast to the tempo or speed change that we have in our move. Yeah. And speaking of speed changes, that's how we add our contrast to this move. So you'll notice as we're going through this, it's not one, two, three, and four, and there's a little bit of a delay. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, and then we hold here. So it goes slow, fast, slow. You'll also notice progress. that there is contrast in the body. So the body is very um, twisted and open and angled, and then it's very flat and then it's twisted and open and angled again, and then it comes back flat. So again, how you stretch this is up to you, and it's up to your personal dancing, but try to figure out 
Am I doing contrast in one way? Ooh, that feels great on me. Oh, that's a little awkward. And finally, our show partnership, you could jazz up that middle with some mouth movements or like breath work to make it look more pronounced. You can also face out towards the audience, smile and show off those lines at the end. So if we really emphasize our show personship here, one. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our website and online store. Link in the description. Bye.